What's going on, everybody? Mike here, coming to you with another special edition of Fly Casual. This week, the final Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker trailer is here. We are busting at the seams to analyze the slot up. Compiled from our live Discord stream on Tuesday, October 22nd, 2019, we dig in and take on the trailer scene by scene and give you our astute observations of J.J. Abrams' final chapter in the Skywalker saga. Suit up and strap in. It's time once again to fly casual. Let's get ready to wrinkle! You want to listen one time all the way through and then go back and then and then do the breakdown. I'm good with that. If anybody wants to follow along in a video, we should do we should count it down so we can all try to kind of sync it together. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> all right. Put the link in the uh, I've got there's several links in Discord. You Everyone can... go to www. <laughs> dot U the word U Y O U tube. T-U-B-E dot C-O-M and click on the first thing. <laughs> I, I apparently okay. put it in off topic, so there you go. Why are you in off topic? Apparently I'm in off topic. I don't I'm know. in the landing pad, bro. That's where we're rocking out. And in studio, yeah. I get so confused because you can be in a different voice channel and different text channel at the same time. I know. That's why it's really I hard for my old man brain to cry cry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Everybody All right. lined up? Ready to do this? So I'm going to play this? Yes? Yep. Okay, because yeah, I'm... You can play it. I've got mine muted, but I'm okay. just going to click We'll on do a 3 2 one, so if everybody's Wait, got three, their... 3 2 one, and then on zero? <laughs> <laughs> 3 2 one, go. And then... Was that a practice run? Because I hit That play. was a practice run. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, 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 dang it. All right, here I go. If everybody's got theirs pulled up, here we go. Ready? Right, three, yeah, yeah. two, one, go. <laughs> I don't hear any don't sound, hear Mike. I don't hear any sound. Mike, I don't hear any sound. Mike. I hear like crickets and... <laughs> Whoa! Ah! It's an I hear sound now. Is that an A-Wing helmet? <laughs> That's what it looks like. It looks like an A-Wing helmet. A feeling. I thought it looked a little bit like the helmets they had. It's Leia's helmet together. from Return of the color. Jedi. But it's a different color. We're not alone. Good people will fight if we lead them. Hey, look, that's when they teleport Spock up out of the hand. <laughs> no one does. The sound is coming through a lot cooler. The reflection on the water. That looks pretty badass. And, yeah, and so does all that. the ship sores. You see, you see the ghost? Yeah, I did. You see the... Now, there's a lot more in the ghost in there, man. Yeah, it's Halloween. Oh, yeah. I see the ghosts everywhere. Oh, the ship, the ghost. What, a... oh. what are you doing there, oh. 3PO? Taking one last look, sir. Oh, at my friends. Dobby is free! <laughs> <laughs> Confronting fear is the destiny of a Jedi. That's their destiny now. What? Make it like confronting so fear. Yellow. Space horses. <laughs> Space horses. Uh, that's my only issue with the whole trailer. <laughs> it's like, why would. Mm, uh, how much she suit that thing up? Even that B Wing was looking pretty good. The Force will be with you. Always. Always. Oh, Leia. All right, guys. <laughs> My favorite part of the whole trailer: All right. seeing R two. Um, <laughs> that's pr- yeah. I kind of feel the same way. <laughs> Howie and I were Howie and I were talking about this earlier, and I said, "How angry would I be 
if C-3PO is like, just taking one last look, sir, Harry Potter, at my friends. <laughs> and R2 is just like in a closet covered in a tarp. <laughs> Again. Exactly. Again. Oh, That's yeah. been the most egregious part of, of this trilogy is the lack of R2-D2. I, I'm serious because I, actually, if you go back, I mean, there's there's old interviews with George Lucas where he says that actually – the the whole trilogy was is supposed to be seen it's through the, the eyes droids. of the droids. Yeah, and, right. And you know the fact that R two's not been part of this is kind of sad. I heard it was supposed to be through the eyes of R two. Yeah, specifically R two. Yeah. Yeah. Um, He's been there the whole time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. From beginning. He's the only one who has, has his mind wiped. Yeah. No mind wipe. So. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> yeah. So exactly. yeah. So I agree, man. I'm with you there. If uh, anybody's listening in, if you're in the landing pad channel, I'm throwing in picks while we're talking. So but they better be clean. There well, is it's also R2 and 3PO's crotch. So <laughs> I also have frame by frame two on uh, the movie chat. Actually, I can probably throw that up on landing pad as well. I have uh, I took screenshots. So at, everybody, uh, is that what you're most excited about? Is R2? Is there something else? That we're space gonna... horses. <laughs> Honest Actually, to God, honest to God, Darth Joe Pesci threw a wrench in that and pointed out the obvious, which is, you know, they're probably above one of those Star Destroyers coming out of the ice. Yeah. They're probably not, definitely not in space. Yes. I was I, like, man, I was really looking forward to be that. grumpy about that. <laughs> it could be atmosphere in the Star Wars universe in space. Honestly, my mm. favorite, sound. and I didn't think this would be my favorite, is actually Palpatine. Um, Palpatine just, yeah, the, the voice is... I mean, it just, it gave me chills, kind of like it did in Return of the Jedi. Right. You know, long have I waited. I was just like, whoa, that's kind of, mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, even though I'm still not sure what I feel like in terms of Palpatine being in this movie, I mean, I'm assuming he's back in some form or another, and it's not just right. a recording or... Well, I mean, we it looks like we see, we're seeing over his shoulder in one of the shots. Yes. Which I'm desperately trying to click back and forth to. Unfortunately, the video that I opened is somebody tacked on like 12 minutes of review at the end of it. So it looks like, I don't know, maybe he's in a mech chair or something because it seems to be moving. <laughs> yeah, dude. Do you this like the mech a chair, Corey? Mech Warrior <laughs> Palpy Edition. Have you seen aliens? I have never, I posted a picture of it. Um, I have never in my life found any use for mechs outside of the Battletech simulators that used to be North Pier in Chicago. <laughs> I think mechs are the silliest thing. I can, I can enjoy them, and stuff, but they make no sense, you know, you to me at all. Anime. Then they'll make sense. I, but see, that's not going to happen because yeah, of the same... same yeah. it's just, right. Yeah. all right, Garrick and Corey, what are you guys' favorites? <sighs> Space yeah, horses! Pick one. <laughs> I just, I mean... It's funny because the things that I really think are cool, I also think are you know so JJ that it's almost <laughs> like you know like the like the looking like Tantive Four or whatever Corellian Corvette just like narrowly missing the trees, right? Which you is know, awesome. I, I, it is. It looks awesome, <laughs> but it's also like almost the same shots I've already seen in Star Trek. So it's like I, I don't. I mean. It's not new, but I'm like, oh, this looks cool. And this is coming from a dude who hates the fact that capital class ships now just cruise in and out of atmosphere willy yeah, nilly. I know. That's all good. That's that's it's cool. been retconned, man. Look at the prequels. It is what it is. I know. I know. We've seen that exact ship flying in atmosphere before. So yes, given have. that, I think that's a, a really cool look, but I don't think it's my most exciting thing. I mean, I guess, you know. I don't I mean, know. The Star, the Star Destroyer in Rogue One. Oh yeah. yeah. He's hanging over Jeddah. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty sweet. You got to admit, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. yeah. My, my favorite is the ghost, man. When the I ghost? That, that's I, your favorite? Yeah. 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 Actually, and there's way more than the ghost in that scene. There is oh, a yeah. ton of stuff. I, I didn't expect JJ to do that at all. So yeah. Kind of forced that... him to, or just slipped it in there when he wasn't looking. Or I Dave Filoni came doing. in and said, you know what people got re- really excited about in Rogue One? <laughs> These really dumb little things. Well, there's These all really kinds of little things that are all awesome. Kinds of rumors about. about... They're all... Oh, sorry. They're Go all ahead, man. Together, right at the end, they're bringing everybody. And right. It just made perfect sense for this to be there. Yes. Well, 
We'll go back and revisit that scene, see how many ships we can identify. Um, I I really, really like just that that scene of seeing all the ships. And one of the reasons why, you know, I really like that is because uh, since the original trilogy, I don't remember seeing that many times where we saw like a Wars serious rag. Well, that. <laughs> Or like a ragtag fleet, you know, like I still like I fired up F3 the other day with the kid because we were just kind of like fast forwarding through some of like the vital scenes that explain how, you know, Vader's evolution because she was asking some questions. And um, I started up episode three and I just watched the space battle. And I'm like, I love the space battle. I love how it looks, but it's still it's very much military versus military kind of thing. The whole like when you see the rebel fleet for the first time really together in uh uh, you know, the end of Empire or in Return of the Jedi, it's like, yeah, you can tell, like, there's a bunch of different stuff mixed in here. So it's kind of just piecemeal. It's whatever we get our hands on, right? I like the feeling of that shot showing, look, there's like no one thing repeated in here. Everything is wildly different, and the styles look wildly different in a Star Wars way. You know, I, I'm big on ship design. Every time I look at the Mantis in the uh, Fallen Order trailers, I'm like, that is an ugly ugly ship you know what i mean it it doesn't look like star wars to me like although that can be a lot of different things now because you know since then we've had like the n1 the N naboo n1 and all that stuff but like just seeing this giant massive whatever you know whoever's got whatever thrown in the mix i like that because it gives it again that feeling of like desperate unity right yeah yep. desperate unity i feel like i just legit justify that rant with that phrase Anybody else add another favorite? Yeah, well, the the one thing I I, I love the Falcon and was a nice welcome back to me is the round radar dish. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Word. Yeah, it was like one of the first things I texted when I saw it. I was like, "This is a round radar dish. That's awesome." <laughs> what do you guys uh, think about the Game of Thrones throne? Well, you know. Macquarie Macquarie art exists that still hasn't been used, so <laughs> gotta get it in there somewhere. <laughs> They've been doing I that. Just, that's not just JJ. Yeah. That's everybody. I know, but like, I was, uh, and this again, this is another conversation. At what point do we recognize that the stuff that we decided not to do forty years ago, right, is the right stuff to do now? That's that's like going to re recut, you know, a film to the director's cut, and you. After watching it, you realize why all that stuff ended up on the editing floor. <laughs> yeah. I mean, okay, it was now, crap. realistically, I don't mind yes. it. If, if you know, if uh, Sheevy Palps has a big old, like, groovy-looking throne. <laughs> but there's not really a precedent for that in the movies. There's right. lots of precedent that from, like, the games and all sure. the core band. Yep. Like, the old Sith Lords that all, you know, had all the, you know, vanity issues and stuff like that. But, like... I don't know. That's not really Palp's MO in the movie, so I feel like it's a little overstated, but maybe there's a reason for it. I don't know. Yeah, I guess we'll find out. It, probably really just using the old Macquarie stuff, which <clears throat> I, I agree with you on it. I think it's been overused in this trilogy and actually since Disney's bought, and I wish Agreed. they'd pull away from that. It feels lazy to me because I feel like... There are so many talented artists, concept yes. artists out there who right. make for fun Right. Make really great looking Star Wars stuff. And maybe a better word is cheap, because maybe that's what they don't want to do is have to hire a bunch of guys to to go, you know. But that was one of the good things about the, the prequel trilogy um, was that there was, I mean, say what you will about the acting and the execution and, and the green screens and all that stuff. But the design work on those films were awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I thought they, they were great. And, uh, you know, it's just I mean, a shame to see. Go ahead. I they they went with a clean style in the prequels. For a lot of the prequels, it wasn't the same as the gritty style of the OT. So even though I appreciate it for like, all right, this is the 1940s to the 1980s. That makes sense. Everything's chrome and rounded and over manicured, you know. But it still didn't feel the same. So I, I appreciate it for what it is, but I kind of wish it had been a little grimier. No, I, I get know? it. I, I mean, I, to me, that's that's different than the presentation on screen. I mean, the design work, I, I feel like, is different. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. What's with all the carvings on the, the old throne there? 
you know there's like some ornate looking carvings there's actually a frame where it's like super the screen goes bright somebody made kylo really mad and throwing him <laughs> somebody told him about a girl <laughs> what <laughs> girls are a thing <laughs> ah! <laughs> no girls allowed ah kylo he doesn't like the girls on weird planets Right. It's actually a back massager is really what that is. Ooh. <laughs> He's got a little shiatsu action. Nice. Could use some of that. Yeah, I don't know. Now. I mean, it's not script or anything or script. I mean, it's just. just did you like guys gouges. notice? Uh, did you notice that the scene that it looks like there's like a little rebel meal, meeting going on underneath a ship of some sort? At first, I thought they were like a bar. And then I realized there's like. Oh, um, I was realized that. There's like a I mean, landing, Land a landing. Lando's shirt. there. Yeah, Lando's right in the middle, yeah. and in the lower right, you can see they recruited Hagrid. Actually, <laughs> it, the first it wasn't. It was, well, they weren't originally going to be shooting this, but every nope. when Lando came onto the set, everyone gathered around and like, oh, we need to shoot this. Yeah, and, I might as well put this movie. one on film. I mean, yeah. yeah, here I'll put a picture up so you guys can see that. Yeah, that is Hagrid totes is Hagrid. present. <laughs> Shouldn't have shot that. Should not have shot that. <laughs> But yeah, he's got a pretty mean looking gun. It shoots it shoots blast ended screw. It's okay, I'm done. <laughs> if you guys want to um jump to the top and just kind of take it frame by frame then. Sure then. All right. So first is the helmet. We were talking about the helmet. Yes. I don't recall Leia's helmet having red on the You know, side. I was just trying to look it up. I was just Googling this and uh yeah, I don't see red on the side either. Yeah, or... but it's definitely the same style. Let me I'll try to throw up. They got it from up. Shaun of the Dead. <laughs> Let's see if I can throw this picture on Discord it real got quick. Red on on it. It. it got red on you. <laughs> Garrick knows. Garrick's the only one. <laughs> um, the, pi the pilot that ran into the, the bridge of the Star Destroyer. His, his helmet fell off. <laughs> Just, so there's the helmet. There's Leia's helmet. And yes, you're right. There's not red on it. So it's actually a little different. Actually, the earpiece is on the on inside it, but... of the helmet, and not on the outside. Like, or that little rotator piece looks like just to be an ear cup that's inside the helmet. But it's definitely similar. What were we saying earlier that it looks like an A wing helmet? A hel a -wing yeah, helmet? It kind of, yeah, it kind of looks like an A wing helmet. Uh, thank the Lord for Google. Yeah, it really. A little bit. A little bit. I mean, here's a sequel trilogy A Wing. She flew an A Wing, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, what's her name? Can't remember. That Don't one. even start to ask me. You know. Yeah, the A Wing pilots definitely have that. Yeah. That sounds right, actually. Yeah, she did. Yeah. yeah, they got that kind of scoopy thing that comes down. But the weird thing is about this helmet that she drops on the ground is exactly how does your head go in that thing? Yeah, I'm looking at that, and that's yeah. kind of crazy looking. Warning must have semicircular early, you know. I don't know how you'd squeeze your noggin into that thing. Unless there's like a. What? There's Ty uh, Tycho's helmet. <laughs> He's back, baby. He is. Yeah, I, I don't know. It just it seems like they they showed this for a reason. The only thing I right. could think of initially when I saw it, when I thought it was Leia's, is that okay. There's this is indicating that it is Endor. I don't yeah. know. Which yeah. I mean, we might as well we might as well ask that question, right? I mean, is this Endor? Um. The breakdowns that I've been listening to is that, like, nobody seems to be willing to commit to that. Um, I mean, in this shot, yeah, we see the taller trees in the background and things like that. But there's a couple of, like, very brief wider shots that I'm looking for here that don't look as much like Endor. I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be, pro well, I don't know. It's seemingly would be one of two. Well, no, I guess if she's training. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud here, man. Yeah, you know, it, it, I, I mean, Yavin, you know, is a place where the Death Star, a Death Star, went down, and so was Endor. So, so I just put up a, a landscape shot that's from like the twenty-five second mark, um, that looks to be similar foliage to what she's seeing. It doesn't, but it doesn't show as many of like the like very definitely vertical trees. That I'd be, I don't know. It it, it 
to me, this landscape looks more Yavin for than Endor, but we obviously have a reason to be at Endor because there's the busted up right. Death Star two right. somewhere nearby. But I mean, I mean, obviously, if she's trained, this is probably early in the movie, so she could definitely be in a completely different place at the beginning of the movie. I mean, you could technically hey, be on Yavin. I'm and trained Endor. to be a Jedi like three times. <laughs> yeah, and they've all been on Yavin for in various video games. Truth. <laughs> yeah, unless you're Kyle Katarn and he just kind of picks it up wherever. You know, guys, going back to the helmet uh, real quick, yeah. it looks like, it may look like a, kind of like a B-Wing helmet. Hmm. B-Wing pilot. Google knows. Kind, kind of. I mean, not exactly, but I mean... Yeah... It's got that because it's got that kind of like rotator looking ear cup on the side. Yeah, and how it how it goes down his jaw around his head around his like the bottom of his jaw and everything. Right on, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. How dumb are we that we're like looking at a movie that takes place thirty years <laughs> in the future, going, "Whose helmet is this? Is it Leia's? Is it Tycho Selchu?" Certainly. All right. So in the same shot, though, we do get um, the little training droid um, that Luke, oh, we do. Yeah, that Luke fought on the Falcon. In the same well, shot, it, yeah, it's a yeah, remote. the little remote. Yeah, that's chasing her. Um, it is. Yeah. How did I miss that? Is it You're when she dumb. jumped in the chasm there? Here, I'll let you see. No, no. Yeah. Not throw that. me a screeny, bro. That's a... It's right behind oh, you. Oh, yeah, look at that. There it is. That remote is a bastard. It's like, <laughs> it's it's like R2. There. So is... now there's a shot coming at her, too. And I was trying to figure that out because I don't think the shot came from the remote. So I don't know. She's how definitely doing some uh, I know that training. it's not, but how funny would it be if that were just, if the helmet this whole time has just been the same one that Luke was wearing when he was training with the remote? <laughs> yeah. oh, nice. the blast shield down i can't see anything <laughs> it's not <laughs> i looked <laughs> but yeah it doesn't so, weird okay. anybody out that she's doing the training in this in this movie <laughs> that we're in movie three and she's yeah. like i should learn how to use the force that i've been kicking everybody's butts with. well she's gonna surely jump now. well we didn't we didn't use we didn't do any training in the last movie so we gotta squeeze it in somewhere dude yes we did no he gave like he said he was gonna give three lessons he gave two yeah <laughs> That's two lessons of training, and one of the those one of those was lessons was him poop. tickling her fingers. So, mm -hmm. was, yep. don't believe everything you hear. There you go. <laughs> yep, yep. Oh, and the also... lesson was the Jedi must end. Oh, I mean, you're you're indicating that like spear fishing and Thala siren milking don't count as lessons. <laughs> I don't know how well I can see that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe the yeah, maybe those life the lessons, lessons. <laughs> Mike. She taught her about he they, he taught her about herself. Um, uh, yeah, I think right now it to me in doing it now in this movie is a way of saying, yep, we didn't justify it, but now we're in the third film. She needs to really have a little bit of ba. That's not just desperation kind of thing like we've seen before, but in control. Right. More like at the end of Last Jedi when she's like, oh, we live rocks. Um, so they have to because, I mean, we're this is the finality of the whole saga right, right. here. Yep. She's no. got to be batting a thousand. So, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> just weird. Not just just pointing it out. So, yeah. But yeah. Uh, hey, Garrett, so we get the... be playing Overwatch right now. Is that what's going on? What? No, what? I was just updating. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's, got, he's got the launcher open, he swears. So then we get Ray jumping across the chasm, halfway across, suddenly she's on a, some wreckage of some sort. Well, she's um, jumping across the chasm there, and see, I like this because there are a number of different things she could have done. She could have swung across on a vine, she could force jump, or she could have force moved that log that's sitting right there and made a little bridge. Oh, mm -hmm. See? She could have, but she got different didn't. different gameplay options. Here. <laughs> tight roped across that one vine 
but then yeah like the cut in like of her using those exact same skills later on yeah. that would seem hand-fisted in a movie i don't know what to make of it having slap slammed together in a trailer <laughs> you know it's like just in case you're wondering the beginning of the movie so it could be i don't know or if it's actually kind of mashed together in the film like she's actually pulling these things off and they're showing you then right away yeah, her having jumping. learned it. She's jumping from uh, that when it slash cuts to whatever that's actually in the movie. It's like, I remember. I remember yeah. When I jumped that chasm. Yep. Just like Basically that. opening move. The movie starts off and the camera pans down and she's already inside the Death Star wreckage. And she's like, I don't know if I can make this jump. And then she think, <laughs> okay, yeah, I remember making this kind of jump. And then she jumps perfect <laughs> actually the scene that here where she's on the death star or apparently in the Assuming death star wreckage the death and that star, jump yes. and crawl up that is that's probably the cg that i like the least of all of this oh yeah that whole the whole background and everything kind of gives a episode one episode two sky captain in the world of tomorrow or whatever kind of like there's a flatness to it that i don't care for Hmm. Maybe that's what they were going for. That could be. <laughs> they were looking. They were going they for bad all CGI. The in this one. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta get the bad CGI somewhere. Yeah. Yep. Bad CGI. Maybe there's a battle droid at one point. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's I also know. true. All right. So true. from so, there, she's kind of doing a little more climbing, and then Finn, and then Finn with goggles. Binoculars. Uh, those are binox, but yeah, are those are quad binox, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, so many knocks. So many knocks. Can't they can't have, have they can't have compound adjustable lenses. They just have to be able, just turn it over. You know, I, I, and I think he's got them backwards. <laughs> it does look like they're backwards. I Why think it's a, so there's probably away. a cup that's like fitting to his your forehead or face. That's or what they all say. <laughs> So after Finn, then strangely enough, we cut back to uh, Ray continuing continuing running through the jungle planet. Really likes to run. Yeah, really. She run, digs run, running, run and jump. Go do your cardio. She's I'll be your back the cardio. while you run. Get that cardio going, baby. And then, and then we get the big pop up bar under the ship. Yep, with Hagrid and Lando. Is there anybody else we can spot in this thing? I'm maximizing, looking around. 3PO, obviously. I think Poe is sitting is on the right, in the middle on the right, standing next to the engine thing sticking down. Yes. Looking all Poe-ish. And there's uh, there's a Mon Cal that might be Akbar's son. Did we hear yeah, something about Admiral Akbar's son? Yeah, Akbar's this? son, yeah, supposedly. Actually, he just showed up in the comics, too. Okay. So there's a redemption. I guess they're trying to get some redemptive <laughs> some redemption yeah. there too, right? Since yeah, he was unceremoniously <laughs> blown that. up in the last movie. One more time. Oh, Mike, you've been reading that comic? <laughs> uh, wait, which one? Uh they they came out with that new one. It's like Road to the... Redemption. Yeah, I've got them. I have not read yet. Okay. So they just introduced Akbar's son. That. Gotcha. And uh, Ray goes. Ray and and uh, Leia go to meet him on Mon Cal. So probably him. I'd say. Maybe. I venture that would be a good guess. I uh, oh wow, this scene really zooms in. I didn't realize that. That that shot of them all gathered under there gets a lot closer before it cuts away. I'm going to give the best screenshot ever, you guys. I swear. I am so excited. I, uh, the, you're seeing the, I mean, 90% of the people in this shot, you're seeing the back of their head. I don't specific. Okay. No, yeah. Finn is right next to Poe. Poe, yeah. Who's the little. Oh. Okay. That's the one that people are presuming might be Lando's daughter, right? Mm, Jana. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, looks like uh, they're having their powwow there. It looks like a young Luke just to the left of uh, 
Lando. Sure it is. <laughs> Just to the left of Lando. Oh, yeah. like the one facing away. That's the no facing thing. towards us. Facing yeah. towards us. Well, that oh, would man. not be a left. Wait. Left of Lando. Lando's if, left. Lando's right. left. Lando's left or my left. <laughs> Lando's left. Stage left. To the left of Lando, his left. <laughs> Is it is it the guy that has his arms like down like? Yep, the crossed? hands crossed. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so to the right of Lando. <laughs> is he right? Lando's <laughs> left. Lando's around ball tapping people. Is that what? He's <laughs> yeah, I know he's protecting. Uh, <laughs> well, the guy, the guy, the guy again subsequent to that guy's left. More yeah, to the right. Yeah, he's got his. He's getting ready to cover his. Yep. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's just Poe a second time. There's I, two Poes. I <laughs> really Poe's. hope that um that. Lando has a meaty role in this film, and this just Wait, isn't some kind of. Is that Snap Wexley behind him? Uh, yes, it's snaps in this baby. Yep. Well, yeah, yep. but that's not that's not him. But yes. somebody did find him. There was there. I've seen something. I saw on Reddit today. Someone had actually identified Snap. I don't think that's it. Okay. But he's somewhere in this trailer. Well, maybe we'll find him on our decoding. Way, Oh, sure we are. <laughs> anyway, I hope they don't. I think just... that's Loki right above uh, 3PO. I was <laughs> thinking the same thing. <laughs> nice. I didn't. I already went. I have to go back now. He, Get back. He died and reincarnated. In oh, yeah. Wars. That is definitely Tom Hiddleston. That's how he escaped death. <laughs> he went to Star Wars. Shared universe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. indeed if i get right, a part so, of this rebellion then i can be so ruler. i mean the obvious thing here is that uh, at the end of last jedi we had about i don't know maybe 10 12 15 people on the falcon that comprised all of the resistance obviously in the two years or so since then the resistance right. has grown so this is definitely not taking place Five seconds after the last film. No, I've heard anywhere from 12 to 24 months after the events of Whoa. Last Jedi. They did. did they fill up their space fuel <laughs> containers? Uh, I hope so. I hope they have enough space gas this time. To... They, won't, they won't forget. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so in the next shot, we get our, our, I think it's the only time we see Kelly Marie Tran. Yeah, maybe. Rose. Also, back, as you'll back, refer to my back, screenshot, back a singing again, hobbit. Again, again. And you know who's <laughs> yep. with that singing hobbit? That would be yeah, Leia's daughter. daughter. Yeah. Yeah. Billy Lord. She's looking a little rough. She looks a little rougher than last time we saw her, which was three seconds after the end of Force Awakens. Well, they're just now leaving the, the drunken little bar there. So. Conics? It looks like they got the uh, one of the space horses. Yeah, space horses are leaving the in the background. Side. Yeah. She might be a major character because she's got a. Pop. The space horse pop is right a major character. No. Carrie oh, Marie Carrie Marie. Oh. Well, she will have been in all three movies. I mean, <laughs> I know. she'll have screen time in all three of them. No, she wasn't. She wasn't in Force Awakens. Your mom was in Force Awakens. Yes, she was. She was standing next to that blue droid. Yeah. She was in there. Oh, you're talking about Billy Lord. I thought you were talking about Kelly Marie Tran. <laughs> yeah, dude, Kelly Marie Tran's in all Star Wars in our hearts. <laughs> if you look, look in the background, <laughs> they CGI'd her in. in there. Word. <laughs> yeah, wait till you get the special edition. <laughs> the super special edition. Just give me Kelly Marie Tran's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly Marie Tran, in, uh, in this case, uh, wearing, I believe, the same costume worn by Marion in the second half of Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh, there you go. Oh, awesome. And the I same think, hairstyle. I think you're right. Indeed. <laughs> well, then we get Poe, the Wookiee. And, and Finn. Finn. Next, next to the an orange X-Wing. An orange X-Wing. Maybe to replace the black one that exploded. Yeah, it exploded. All the paint came off the black one, so now it's orange. This is such a money shot. All three of them turning to face. <laughs> well, they're <laughs> looking at Kelly Mee Tran that's coming that right at them. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're looking up and they're like, wow, everybody looks like Kelly Marie Tran. Except us. <laughs> what happened? Are we in the special edition? Is that a Hobbit? <laughs> it's singing. <laughs> that, seriously, though, this is like this is the quintessential money shot. This is the shot that's like just a little too perfect, perfectly spaced out. Yeah, 
Isn't that what they're supposed to do? That's Space kind him? of a nah, that's kind of a JJ thing. Yeah. It, well, yeah. It's it's basically this is JJ doing the Spielberg look. Yeah. <laughs> you you guys know what the Spielberg look is? Um, this shot. This shot. Yeah. It's this shot where everyone <laughs> looks up at something that is right. up and off, up yep. and off to the side, and everybody's necks and heads are moving in the same. And your collars popped. <laughs> yeah. You gotta, unless you're a Wookie. Yep, you got to pop the collars unless. Well, he's popping his hair collar. Yeah. It's a little. It looks like a, it looks like it's a like cover art for a book or something. I mean, exactly, exactly. And that's like any time you see the Spielberg look or the Spielberg stare, it's always like a little too perfect. But usually, it's not three people so evenly spaced out. So but the background really in the weeds. <laughs> there's a lot of foliage in the background. Yeah. Where do we think this is at? Well, the palm fronds make me think Yavin Four or place yet unnamed. Yeah. Scarif. Lando Four. Scarif is uninhabitable now. At, uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. That was years ago. What if they're at a... <laughs> it got better. It got better. <laughs> I want to go for a walk. I, what if uh, what, they're at a... What's her, what's her nuts temple? Castle. Maybe they're at Galaxy Maz Kanata. Maz Kanata, that's a possibility oh, there. Well, yeah, but it doesn't exist anymore. It got blowed up, remember? But in your world, everything gets blown sure, up. Remember? Got lots of money in like two remember? years. No, I remember. So, right after that, then we have the Corellian Corvette doing the tree skirt. Oh, yeah, skirt, skirt. I think that's that is a, that is an awesome shot. It is. I don't care. <laughs> it is. I know. I don't. I don't either. I want to be more critical of it, but I oh, just yeah. I look at it and like neato. I'm just imagining if I was standing there and how much I would pee my pants. If that happened, <laughs> all, all the pee and all, all the, the pants. Yes. Yeah, I would pee your pants. Well, it, I, it really, that. it really does look like the Tantive Four, uh, uh, the color scheme from uh, from Ep Four. You know, because we know the Tantive Four was blue before, but by the time Ep Four rolls around, it's got that red. And it, this thing, if you look at all the dirt, dark, dingy smears and all its crevices there, I mean, it looks like it has been aged. So I'm thinking like, this is the I'm actual Tantive Four. I don't know. I man. mean, come on. They, they, sure they, got, they got the ghost. They got the ghost in it. I mean, the ghost is is old enough too. Heck so. yeah. yeah. Heck it could yeah. Be, it, could, it could be. They find it in the Empire Impound lot or something. Yeah, dude. We had <laughs> so many parking tickets. They had to put a boot on the well, engines. They, well, no, they captured it, and then that's it, right? I yeah. Mean, it was in in the belly of that star destroyer. So I guess they just. You know that's a that's a good point. We never really know that what the Empire did with the Tantive Four after everything. That's right. I never thought about that. It I've never left in my it with life thought about fleet. that. What's Wait, that? didn't they make a? Didn't they? It left it with a Kanata, uh, that one fleet. Katana, Ka fleet. Katana, fleet. Katana fleet. Not Kanata fleet. Katana, the Katana, Katana fleet. fleet was like thousands of years old or whatever. I think but in. They, they pooped it out there. I think in New Hope they said that there was an accident. Everybody on board was killed. So I'm guessing they blew it up. Yeah. Wait, I don't, I don't think that's Tantive. That? Yeah, when did that happen? When they when they were trying to, to, that's what they told him to say to the Senate. When you report to the Senate, tell them that everybody on board was killed. Oh. Yeah, well, hmm. they just went through and they executed everybody. But the ship was okay? I, why not? They're sitting on it. They're like, "Hey, free ship!" <laughs> it's got space gas left. Yeah, there's like quick. <laughs> that stuff's hard to find some at, at opportune times. I guess the assumption is that Star Destroyer. I wonder if they can siphon that space gas. The Death Star when it blew up, maybe I don't know. That's where they went. Now I have an image of a stormtrooper on his knees with like a little piece of Pex pipe like stuck in through his mask. Don't get it in your and mouth. like a five gallon bucket sitting next to him that says Lowe's on the side. <laughs> All right, so we got a curly Corvette. We got a bridge over troubled waters. I was gonna say we are capturing the Red October, but works too. so this is uh, as they. As they pan in, you start. You can kind of see the background of uh, the gun from the Death Star. So obviously, this is Death Star wreckage, and uh, <laughs> we can <laughs> see. We can yeah, see. You guys, uh, I found Ray. Yeah, Ray. You can see Ray. <laughs> <I found her. laughs> She's right there. I found there. Ray, guys. We can go to the next page now. Hold on, let me open original. So <laughs> 
<laughs> She's right there. I seen her. I got to say, did anybody else get the uh, the Kylo coming out of the water, out of the spray? Yeah. They get the same vibe as Vader coming out of the smoke in Rogue One? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Except he, he was all wet. Yeah. Well, Vader might have been. You can't tell. He, he could be swimming in urine inside that suit. Yeah. How's he going to pee? He'd probably yeah. pee my pants. So. Yeah, he would pee Howie's pants, most likely. Okay, it looks what like is he's that about thing? Ready to cry, so what is know. that big round thing that Ray's standing in front of? I gun. mean, to me, it looks like like I feel like I need to go up to it and press zero a bunch of times so that Kratos will grab it and open a door or something like that. <laughs> this looks that, like a thing out of God of War. What the gun? You talking about? Or? Is it a gun? Looks like a gun like to me. Turret? Right behind her. Yeah. It's the same. Isn't that the same turret we just saw? Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm asking, is that actually a turret? It. I would say yes. That's my okay. that's I my interpretation. Yeah. It's I feel funny like this is the same it. scene. It's it funny is the looking same is scene, all I'm saying. For sure. You're funny looking. Oh, that's, oh. Oh, that's accurate. You brought nothing new to the table. Okay. Also, um, I'm looking at this shot of Ray, and maybe this is inappropriate, but her pants look like they got a tear in them or something. I thought the same thing the first time I Maybe saw that. That was weird. Uh, yeah, I'll give you a little screeny. Strange. I don't want to zoom in on her area and post that on Discord because I just feel like that'll come back. Somebody missed me. something. Oh. JJ. Yeah, well, oh, yeah, I mean, maybe that's, just, that's definitely a tear. It looks like it. I, that or it's just a very awkward seam on the costumer's part. I, I don't know. I'm looking at a different, quite a slightly different angle and or a different frame and i don't know that that is what's she looks holding like in her a, other hand looks like a fold okay i'll leave it at that i actually think her hand just have her thumb perfectly lines up with the metal on the grate but it looks like she's holding a little thing oh yeah that's like i pulled this out of the drain <laughs> <laughs> oh brother you ew, ew, ew. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> exactly that is a crack in the the floor what she's standing on. Uh, so this is what 30 years of oceanic rust looks like. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Good thing, because on the interior shots, there's almost none. Uh, we'll get to that. Well, there's, this is not salt water, so. <laughs> oh, we, water? You don't know until we get through the scene and no one's gone, salt. We won't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not red, so it's we're good. Salt. <laughs> Definitely not snow. It's salt. In case you were wondering, <laughs> you the <laughs> viewer. <laughs> Afterwards, getting all wet like that in that really heavy costume. I feel like this just needs to be this Kylo Ray just needs to be my avatar on every social <laughs> right now. Just Did you guys notice, yeah. by the way, sulking wet Kylo? Backing up to um, Ray real quick. Did you notice yeah. that when she's holding her lightsaber, that the the raindrops are sizzling off the um, the lightsaber? I didn't. I thought but that was pretty cool. Haven't we seen that before? Yeah, we've seen we that. See well, we've seen that in a game, in a video game. Um, well, the one where you're. The... Go ahead. Episode seven. When the lightsaber falls to the ground, it kind of sizzles a little bit, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. In uh, Jedi Academy, when you're on Yavin, it starts That's to rain, right. and uh, you can see the little sizzles on the, the lightsaber. I hadn't noticed I that. I thought it was a nice touch. right now. Yeah, it, it does look, it looks, it looks cool because it looks like these little flashes and then like maybe puffs of steam or whatever. That I think cool, I heard that cool some look. people were confusing that as Ray's lightsaber was unstable like Kylo's, but I think it's clearly raindrops. Nah, yeah, it's just, you know, water vapor. Like you do. Like you do. And that Man, is a completely he's... soaking wet Kylo. <laughs> I have watched him like do his like, it, apparently he feels like his arm his sleeves are bunched up at his elbow or something the way he's like straightening he's like oh I'm do my little arm swing thing and i've watched it 10 times i still can't figure out if his lightsaber is passing through his arm or not <laughs> this is uh this is probably take take 100 and he's really pissed yeah he's so <laughs> done is it just me or ray not that wet at all 
<laughs> well, well he just walk walked through, through a giant splash. Yeah. yeah. Like he literally was the guy that was unfortunate enough to walk across the bridge at the theme park right when the water ride comes down and <laughs> it's the water and he's yeah, looking nice. at his friends like you guys suck. You even get wet bastards. Well, but I feel like, like he's there's enough water coming up his head. I feel like we're going to need an animated gif of him that's just like that the one of uh, Jordan Peele. Where like the sweat is just running off his face, yeah. <laughs> right? Uh, it's just rivulets of water pouring off Kylo right here. But you notice he's putting his lightsaber behind him. Is that a like indicator of I'm not going to fight you? Uh, it could. They're cutting your head off. Well, why right. ignite we've, it if you're not definitely fight. seen shots of them fighting on that ship thing? Peace, yeah, Death Star, is. hunk. There's that was fight. before he was wet. That's true. I don't wow. fight wet. <laughs> uh, I'm a good guy now because I'm wet. I don't know. Like the opposite of a gremlin or something? Yeah, <laughs> yeah actually. That's amazing. So you'd have to feed him after midnight and he becomes ice? Thousands of years of throwing Sith off pits into pits, and all we had to do was sit up, shoot him with a squirt gun this whole time. That was it. Yeah, I... Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm wondering how early in the movie this is. Early. I don't know. I want, I want, I want this to be earlier rather than, I don't know why. It's the after credit scene. (laughs) Samuel L. Jackson as, uh, Mace. Yep. (laughs) Fury. You got it. Mace Fury. (laughs) Mace Fury. Yeah. Well, okay, so what about the next scene with the red ties and the polar ice caps? And no ripples in the water. We're about as far uh, from no that re- last scene as no possible. No reflections in the water. Yeah. I'm it's pretty cool looking speculation shot. that maybe that's not water, but that is an ice asteroid floating in space. An ice asteroid? An ice asteroid. I don't know. It. I'm not sure sounds tasty. if I believe that or not, but... That would explain it's definitely the definitely not symmetrical at all. No, and... no. You look at the yeah the reflection. It's like, well, that's not a reflection at all. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's not. Not even kinda. No. But it's weird that an asteroid would be so oblong. Yeah, in, my, whole, in my mind, they made a whole planet into a giant laser. They can make an asteroid symmetrical. <laughs> <laughs> There's asymmetrical asteroids. Why not? It wasn't a laser. They were like hyper speed, hyper speed plasma balls things. Although on the underneath side, it looks like more like Minecrafty pixelated. And that, yeah, it kind of does. It's weird. It looks more. Wow. A lot more. The yeah, the bottom part looks all voxely, and the top part doesn't look that way at all. That's wacky. Right. That's wacky, dude. Yeah. And is that like steam coming off the the bottom side there, or some kind of? Yeah, I see like, what you're saying. Kind of yeah. wind dragging off. Here's a little screenshot for talk about how the bottom looks all voxely. There, that's a good. I had not noticed that at all. Like some sort of crystal. Looks like a... the kybers. Or maybe there's like a mining Kyber operation. Crystal. This is one giant ky- kyber crystal. Is what maybe there's like a mining operation on the bottom that's not on the top or something. But yeah, there's a there's another Always screenshot of the top from the bottom. Yeah. Naked. What? You know, like they do in Chernobyl. Uh, <laughs> yes, Corey knows. Sure. Corey knows. I do. Okay. I do know. Naked. Those guys were very naked. That's a lot of TIE fighters flying in somewhat formation there. Yeah, they had like triangle wings. So my question is, is is this the same ice that the Star Destroyers break out of? Maybe. Uh, this is where the Katana fleet is. Hidden in ice. Maybe it's a Star Force. Maybe that's a Super Star Destroyer that's still covered in ice. <laughs> Don't tease me with that kind of... <laughs> That's the dark side. Of I the, don't know. The so the only reason why I asked that question is because, you know, like I was saying earlier, if the if the space horses are running on ice that then a Star Destroyer pops up out of, so then they got to get to the end to jump off to space safety. What? 
this doesn't look big enough to have like gravity <laughs> and stuff. I don't know. I mean, gravity. you know it what's even be, you know what's even of... weirder is the fact that the first time we saw space horses, they were on grass. Yeah, or was it grass or dirt? It was grass. They were on okay. a grass planet, and uh, to go from grass to ice seems pretty extreme. Well, they piloted this ice to the planet. Oh, yeah, that was one of my, my my questions. Is like, how did the same space horses get from where we saw them before to where they are now? I mean, right. they seem they they would be awfully space tired. <laughs> yeah, very space they, tired. Right, you need a lot of space energy to get through this. Yeah, space so energy then, drinks. It's the not so iron. Dun, dun, dun. Already talked about quite With a bit. flashes of thunder and lightning, etching flashes yeah. of lightning. That is a hell of a throne. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't look very comfortable. So where would this be? Because this clearly is not his throne from the throne room in Return of the Jedi. That's kind of my question. It's like, you know, how many different Shivi Palps are we going to get in this film? Are we going to get... Is Shivi Palps going to put himself in a clone, make himself younger, and be like, hey, right, we did that. Let's go to the you know our backup throne room area. Like... Are we going to be like chasing Sheev around the galaxy or something? I don't know. Because we know we're going to be in the Death Star throne room at some point. But the, I guess the big trick is that there's no reason to assume that Palpatine is like on the ruins of the Death Star. No. There yeah. really isn't. I mean, because we've seen no. nothing that ties him to that. Yeah. This is actually just a horcrux. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's a horcrux now. Mm-hmm. Especially okay. the Sith dagger, so, we're not there yet. So, since this is clearly not the Death Star, does this... This is in the ice. Does this take us to the uh, the um, the unknown regions? Are we in the unknown regions right now? Would One would really hope that we get to the unknown regions now. I think so. I mean, we've been hearing about this horrible threat in the unknown regions forever. <laughs> they have to, because that would make me reading the Aftermath series... Worth it, I get. Not worth it, but not almost. Worth it. Almost worth it. <laughs> almost. Almost worth it. Well, almost one is... worth Chuck Wendig <laughs> losing his mind. <laughs> Poor man. Well, one interesting thing here is that you have all those flashes in the throne room, and then it cuts to the next scene uh, with the the ship coming out of the ice. Yeah. And there's those one, same flashes. One of there. my favorite scenes. Like this looks pretty intense to me. So yeah, assuming some kind of lightning. This is the closest you're ever going to get to the Lusankia peeling out of Coruscant in yeah. the current yeah. canon. Right. <laughs> now, this, I heard, I, I thought I heard somebody say that this was a Super Star Destroyer. This looks just like a Super or a Star Destroyer to me. Yes. Well, uh, a Super Star Destroyer still has a little bridge it like it does, but Destroyer. I believe we start to see the, uh, the triangle of the front, don't we? Yeah. On this. I'm not sure. It could, because a Super Star Destroyer is layered. Like, you'd see what would, you know, there is, like, I don't want to say, but, like, for all intents and purposes, Super Star Destroyer doesn't it just more or less have the profile of a normal Star Destroyer on a little tiny part of it? I don't know. Listen to my fingers dance apost- across the keyboard. <laughs> Aposta keyboard. A- apostate keyboard. Apostate. A prostate keyboard. Oh, no, I don't want it anymore. Take it back. I mean, all I can find on Google Image Search. So, hmm. I'm looking around because I, yeah, I, I don't know. I, guess I, you I can't, could, I, I could buy it either way. I guess you can't tell. I thought you could see the fr- the triangle of the front, but yeah, maybe. It, it no, be you see something coming up, but that yeah, could still be right. just a part that is above the yep. whatever would be forward. If it's, I think it's more likely that it's just one of the several M Star Twos that yeah, we saw. Sure. Or the M Star One, whatever they are that we saw in the teaser. Yep, I would agree. Mm-hmm. And now we've reached a point in the trailer where it's all the ships. Oh, oh boy, here we go. All of them. All, all ships of them everywhere. Are ships. All right, so Falcon, of course. Um, we've got. Wait, let me get a screenshot so people know what the Millennium Falcon looks like. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that would be the Millennium Falcon. Um, I see a hammerhead Corvette yeah, from Rogue One. Yeah, from Rogue One. I'm right not, behind. I'm not. Did those things have like? I see the head of a hammerhead Corvette, but it's got. Seems like it's got a 
large body behind it. Are we looking at the same one? Right behind the Falcon? That uh, would be... Hey. Yeah. Yeah. I don't recall the those having such, like... A profile. Or... Uh, birthing hips, <laughs> if you will. Uh, yeah, I think they do. The the back part, I mean, the, the very back part of it would. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. 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 Query. Query. Yeah, back there. Maybe that's Cassian. Yeah, I saw, yeah, the U-Wing jet was one of the ones that jumped out to me. Just kidding. Oh, I guess they do have kind of fat butts. A little bit. Kind of like your mom. Yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh yeah. Dang. Oh. So furious right now. Yeah. There's the Mando ship, which is strange. Which one is the Mando ship? Mandalorian from the Mandalorian. Oh, yeah, the yes. Mandalorian <laughs> ship. Yes, which right. ship is his? Middle, um, bottom, left. Aisle. I'm, I got it right yeah. here. Get her. Get her done. Yep, that would be it. Yep. Okay. That's the one that's the converted uh, assault ship, drop ship, whatever. Right. And then I think I see one of the bombers from uh, for, from yeah. Last Jedi. There's a Last Jedi bomber, yep. Yeah, right there. So how cool would it be if they actually put the Mandalorian in this movie and he dies? So you already know the end of the story. Oh, oh no. That would not be fun. <laughs> Damn you, Howie. The ship, the ship to the left of the ghost, I believe, is the Defiant. <laughs> Oh man, those pulse slaves, those pulse cannons are just gonna tear through everything. There you go. That's the one I think Garrick's calling the Defiant. And yeah, it does look like it. That's the Defiant. <laughs> Actually, it's it's uh, shots like this where I'm always ex like really wanting to see ships from other properties just snuck in there. <laughs> you know, like like ET. a vi like a Viper. I think I from... see ET ship back there. Yeah. <laughs> Where? <laughs> it's like the round ship, right? Don't they have like a round ship? There's lots of round yeah. ships. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like in the distance. Yeah. The at the very bottom? Is it the one at the very bottom? It's like uh I can't find it now. Behind the ghost. Oh yeah, up. Yeah. To the left. Yeah. Oh no, that yeah, no, that's no, I'm pretty sure that's E. T. ship. <laughs> there's also that exact same ship is on the bottom left of the shot too. Oh yeah. Well, there's lots of ETs out there. Yeah, that's true. There's more than one, Corey. It's canon. It's yeah. canon. He phoned home. Um, but yeah, like I just, I just want to stare at the shot all day because there's all these ships I want to know know more about. Now, isn't that a one, U wing in there? There's a U wing. Didn't we? What's that? A U wing. Yeah, there's from, a U wing right behind the Falcon. Didn't we identify this little guy with the four engines earlier? Hmm? I Did just uh, sent a shot. That's the U wing. Yeah, that's the U wing. That's the U Ewing? Yes. Yeah, okay. All right. Know your ships, bro. I don't yeah. I just there are so yeah, many different it. styles of ships here, and that makes me so happy. <laughs> so happy. Oh, there is uh above at the very top of the shot at the like right before it cuts, where after the Falcons come in focus, there's one of those giant freighters that like comes from like the the D6, the West End D6 role playing books. It's got the front end of a Corellian Corvette, but it's got like it's way bulkier. You can see it's blue striped on the front of it, the very top of the shot. I don't know why I'm describing it like this when I can just yurt. I am almost positive that this ship right here is out of the old West End D6 books. Yeah. Um, Actually, I heard, and I'm trying to find it now. I heard that uh, Hans Freighter is in this too. Hans Freighter? Oh, the one that he had before Force when Awakens. he didn't have the Falcon? The, yeah, Are the those beasts still Force aboard? Awakens. <laughs> the Raptors? Yeah, the Raptors. They have, they have the Raptors. Around. Isn't that the one in the middle of the shot? Isn't that his ship? I don't remember what it looks like, honestly. It was a big <laughs> kind of square thing. It was big yeah. and gross. Yeah, that kind of ugly looking trapezoidal hexagonal looking thing. Here's a frigate, by the way. I know he's mentioned the frigate. Frigate. It's oh, weird yeah. to see one of those like from like straight on. Yeah, it is weird. But uh I feel like a lot of these ships have mouths and they're gonna they're like <laughs> fish like breathing in the ocean. Oh, okay. 
the the freighter the falcon covers it up when it comes from the top of the frame so yep that is actually the one from yeah. that's exactly it yeah. that's correct here i'm uh you got it posting yeah well i i got an actual comparison there off the googles gotcha. to put right next to it but yeah the ugliest one in there is the original design awakens yep that's it <laughs> the only thing that didn't have a macquarie artwork yeah i'm aware probably yeah. did pull out the book i just i just keep like like quick pausing all the way through this over and over again because i like so much of what i see i want to see slave one now wait oh. are, we, are we sure oh, that this, would be sick. the one i just sent right here are we sure that the one we said is the Mando is the Mando? It's either that this, one. This is like the same kind of ship. Yeah. I guess it could be one of those ARC, what are they called? The ARC troop transport. Yeah, that's what they're called. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know, dude. I, I've, I've completely for, forgotten at this point. But like, oh, man. Like, this looks so familiar to me. And it might not be. I might not have ever seen anything like it before. Yeah, no, I was thinking the same thing. That's but, Ray's but, parents. Yeah. What's that? That's Ray's parents. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> I don't no. know. It's not. That's not right. Huh. And then, I don't know. There's just so many different great designs yeah, in my here. Oh, gosh. It's just the, oh, yeah. This it makes me so just... happy. Help me in my, in my, in my warm spots. Great. Anyway, moving on, right? Well, yeah. here's one last. Uh-oh. Oh. Well, that's the same thing. I'm just reposting it. Well, no. actually, that's a different ship, but it's one. It's the same thing in a different spot. Yeah, it's they, it's a fish. They like almost every ship on here is in at least like two or three places. It's a it's a fish. It's a fish. Copy and Maybe. paste. It's a bigger fish. Get her done. What's that big uh, beefy what? thing with the with the like long narrow wings sticking right out from above is the that, falcon? On the one I just posted, is that R two on top? <laughs> He's hanging out. The big R2. Oh. He's fixing stuff. That's what he does. That's what R2 units do. Now, now of course after after the movie comes out and comes on the Blu-ray, you're gonna see that JJ put in like a small enterprise somewhere. <laughs> you know, just like he just like he put in R2 from the start, you know, the Star Trek movie. Like I, I expect it at this point. <laughs> I, nay, I demand it. Yes. You see the fine in there somewhere? Yeah, that's sacrilege. You can't do that shit. Because Brian, right <laughs> well, he he did it in Star Trek. He put R two floating in space. <sighs> All right, I'm looking up the Defiant for. I mean, yeah, they're man. not too far off. I'm trying to get the right angle on it before the Falcon gets in and mugs the camera. It's it's Defiant esque. Sure is. It's hard to find a shot dead on anything in Star Trek because it's always like the perfect three quarter view. <laughs> Meh, there's your defiant. Yep. Yep. I mean, he's got the the engine nacelles on the side. I defy you. A little nose on the front. Duncan. Party in the back. You know how it is. Yep. Yeah. All right. So let me get some uh, cockpit action going on. Yeah, wait, what? Yeah, that's, our <laughs> mic. that's our mic. Clearly not this scene, I would say. This probably looks uh, like the beginning of the movie, perhaps. What's that blue thing? Sitting I in know, between... that's what everybody's tweaking on. Yeah, like Ray and then and, and, uh, Chewie droid. are just staring at it. That would be what's oh. called the MacGuffin. Yeah, I believe it, people are calling it the Wayfinder. I'm calling it the Trial by Stone. <laughs> what was Lando's droid's be name be that went into the Falcon? Oh, that's L L three. L three. I think they they downloaded L three to that. <laughs> that's actually been that's actually been in well it hasn't been lit lit up like that but that's been in all the Falcons like all the movies. That, sure. that piece right there. That piece oh, really? Sure. Yeah, oh. but it's not it. it it has something else on it. It's, instead of looking like it's got the, uh, what's the thing from Back to the Future, the flex capacitor? Yeah. <laughs> In, instead of that, it, it had something else on it. 
Yeah, but that's been there the whole time. Oh, you know, I'm it's just never been working. Teenagers, and that is correct. Ray got correct. it working. Everybody There's... on the internet's calling out the MacGuffin. Well, guess what? Well, the guy, the... It's not new. Well, it's cray cray. Well, okay, you guys know you guys know the uh, that the Star Star Wars theory on YouTube. The guy who you did yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, he did he did a, a breakdown of the trailer, and he was like, oh, "I think that's a compass, or that's some kind of thing that uh, that they found." I'm like, "Dude, seriously? You're right. It's, it's been there, there the whole damn time." Yep, you're he's right. Going, uh, he's, you're totally and he's right. probably working. He's going off some of the supposed leaks that talk about there being a wayfinder that has something to do with Leia's ring and all this weird macguffin type information that's, that's getting floated around. But Yeah, you're totally yeah. right. That's, yeah, yeah, one, that's been there the whole time. One person said that's part of the hyperdrive controller or something like that. I don't know. You know, problem is Harrison Ford's always got his elbows out and we see what's sitting there. It's a beer cooler. <laughs> he's beer like, cooler. he's manspreading, but with his arms. Where he puts his beer. Beer dispenser. It's, it's like an insta beer chiller. You have to add salt. That's where that's where uh you know Lando puts his Colt 45. Right, yeah. right. Keep it nice and cold. <laughs> nice. That's why it's lit up because Lando's back. He's that's right. using it. That's right. Look at look, look I mean it's plain as day right there. Yep. So plain as day. Yep, a whole lot of nothing. Wow. Well, I'm glad you're here to point that out. Maybe it's a disc yeah. man. <laughs> From this angle, I'm not ever used to seeing it, but see, Daisy Ridley has a much slighter frame than yeah. Han. Yeah, I would say you're probably right. Yeah, that is something else. We really need to get we need to get Chewie some ear pods at this point. I just feel like he's probably pulling <laughs> ears out every time he takes that thing on. Off. <laughs> Plus, who's Chewie talking to with that microphone? <laughs> you know, the only people who understand what Sherry Wook are like sitting right next to him in the cockpit all the time. Is he like yeah. FaceTime and his friends or something? Yeah. There's yeah. a translator. Maybe he's uh, coordinating with the Wookiee fleet. All right. That's right. The Wookiees have ships. Yeah. <laughs> Wookiees have ships. Corey. I Why do like you hate Wookiees, Corey? I like how it's my prerogative. Why I like how Finn and Poe walk in and sit down like there's nothing going on. Like, hey, we just got done playing racquetball. <laughs> All right, moving on. Next more we get to like, waters. a little more, uh, yeah, some uh, confrontation back on the waters. Some weird looking like tilt. They've been ship fighting a long time. A bit for a long time. So what is this hole? To the left, it, top left. It looks like they're no, 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 no. I just mean like it looks like they're on the rim of a large round thing. That's actually how big the trench is in a Death Star. All you have to Whoa. say is large round thing and hole and Garrett giggles. <laughs> I think they all know that. I'm thinking of a butthole. That's why. I hate it when people refer to the trench when talking about Death Star Two. Oh, it's trench. I, I ooh. Death Star Two, they flew in the middle. I know, but I hear yeah. it all the time from people who what? should know better. What they don't have trenches? I think they had a lot of trenches because the whole thing was like superstructure. Yeah. Yeah. But people talk about the trench, and I'm like, a what? trench. Yeah, a trench is fine. I, I accept. You better accept it. All right. So yeah. more battling on the uh, Death Star. Then, real quick, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but there's a big old explosion. Yeah, it's super fast. Super fast, and they cut away real quick. It, it looks kind of like it's on the top in, or in front of a Star Destroyer, right? Here, I'm sending my screeny. Screeny. You got a Star Destroyer on the left side, Whoa. an explosion on the right side. Hmm. Hmm. Like, they hit something with that supposed super laser that they're all armed with. Hmm. They hit their own ship. Well, it's not necessarily that it could be right in front of said Star Destroyer. But yeah, it's really hard to see. It's super quick. It's yeah. never even it's never even completely in frame. It's like uh -huh. it's a crossfade that never fills in completely. Right. Yeah, because it goes immediately. Lens flare. And nice. then we go into we the, get the obvious boat fan thing. requested follow up to those like salt skimmer <laughs> things from The Last Jedi. <laughs> 
but this one's the water sports version. Yeah, yeah Ray's riding that pretty hard. Wow. I'm having, Did that I'm just having happen? trouble. Are you watching the same thing? It's not Garrick in Star Wars. <laughs> is it Ray? Yeah, it is Ray. She's standing up on it. Here, I'll prove it to you guys. You ready? There you go. <laughs> there's your there's your screenshot of Ray. Wow, that's Looks like yeah. the, uh, the fireball Tiny. from Resistance. Yeah, a little bit, a little, but like obviously stripped down a lot and flimsier. A lot flimsier. Well, that thing was a piece of crap to begin with, so it surprised me. I just like we keep getting ourselves into situations where we don't have the equipment to take care of things, but then we're like, oh, it's okay. We found something that'll kind of work. Like I'm like, this is this is how I would DM a campaign, but not what I expect to see repeatedly in a movie. But maybe this thing is I don't know. Maybe this thing isn't as cobbled together as it looks. Maybe this thing is actually purpose built. Maybe. Uh, I mean, what a, what a missed opportunity to have her just ride a giant beast like Obi Wan for thirty forty minutes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> One that goes, <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's good design work right there. I don't know why they have her force running across the water. Yeah, for real. She should. Because when that. she tried to flash back to learning it, she remembered she hadn't learned it. Ah, that's, that's why. So then we see little puppet man operating on three people. Oh, it's puppet man's helmet. Was the one that she drops at the beginning. Oh, it's his. Little 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 wrinkle Fu Manchu man. Oh, no. Looks kind of like a... Same Babu Frick or something like that. Yeah. So He's kind of got... His face... I don't know. He looks kind of like he's been popping out of somebody's stomach on Mars or something like that. He's got... (laughs) Get to the reactor. Stepped on. His face got stepped on. Yeah. So it looks like 3PO's getting his surgery done. And mm-hmm. uh, apparently the result of this. And is... Ray is really concerned wearing her favorite New England Patriots hoodie <laughs> in the background. Uh, the and the one, result. Wearing her, her, <laughs> yeah, it's her favorite, her favorite Bill Belichick hoodie. Well, they all are wearing it, so it seems like they're a part of Hogwarts. Oh, that could be. <laughs> Full circle. That's chilly. Well, what do you expect? That... So C three PO is being is he being over overly dramatic in this? Uh sounds like it. That's his like his thing. That's his MO. Oh no, we're doomed. He's like, I'm just taking one last look, sir, at my friends. And then the little dude's like, We're done here. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know. Like, you really think we're gonna who who thinks we're actually gonna lose? Like three PO will no longer be three PO. Uh, is that a medical droid back there? Uh, that face? Oh, that, that's a two one B. Yeah, I believe that's a two one B. I don't know. It doesn't have the grill over the over the. It is. It, it totally is. Yeah, uh, that's what it looks like. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm zooming in here because I think crap. That's what I think. Oh, yep, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I solved that for us. <laughs> What ship are they on here? Uh, I don't know if it's a ship or not. It's got kind of like concrete looking walls. Or, yeah, maybe at the, they're at the bar. Mm-hmm. Or just, you know, some dude's shop. Maybe it's, maybe it's a, a friend of the still faceless uh, What's Your Nuts, Felicity. Zori Bliss, man. Yeah, Zori Bliss, who still has no face. Despite being played by a woman with a beautiful face, and I swear that's important. Maybe, maybe she it has to. Be. Maybe she'll be like Boba Fett and never take off. Why would Why would she do? Why would she take the role? Yeah, be in Star Wars. The last line is you know, she takes off her helmet. The last line of the whole film goes, "Just call me Mara." Dun, 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 dun. I did that for Garrick's sake. I like that. Whose yeah. arm is that? The hand dangling from the top of the screen here? There's a dangling hand right above Finn's eyeballs. No. It's what? to the left oh. bottom of Poe. That's Zori. Left. That's, That's Zori. Zori. Yeah. Let me, let me help. 
<laughs> Here you go, friend. There's the rest of that person. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I helped. Oh yeah, they are. All, they all are wearing like Chicago public school teacher coats, aren't they? Yeah, look, they're going out for recess in the Windy City. It's I, my my sister in law is a teacher, and she has one of those coats. And I'm like, I and she lives roughly close to the Chicagoland area. And I said, I've not seen one of those coats since recess when I was a kid. When all the teachers had them. So supposedly in this scene, according to rumor, um, 3PO needs to read some kind of either like a Sith holocron or some kind of map or something. And uh, this Or scene, the markings on a knife. Perhaps. Or we'll, get, we'll get to the knife. <laughs> the time but, knife. Yeah, Man, we so, are not even halfway. Supposedly this, this is the programming. Oh, because we are so known for that, just flying through these things. <laughs> this is the programming that leads to him having red eyes in the first trailer. Right. Right. Oh damn! I was kind of hoping he was going all triple zero on us. <laughs> that would have been awesome. <laughs> I don't know. Africa could still it. Africa could still show up with the uh, with the personality chip or whatever. Yeah. Oh, that would time. be awesome. <laughs> triple zero matrix. Put it in there. Yeah. They and they added it to his neural net. Yeah. All right. So cool. in the background, on the next shot that shows. Uh, 3PO head on. Yeah. If you look real close. Don't have to look that close. It's standing there all it's, yellowy and Yeah. There. It's kind of blurry though. Yeah. So yeah. let's see if we can get it thrown up. There we go. Ready? There's a screeny. Oh, so no. in the corner, supposedly we got a battle droid in there. Battle droid. Yeah. So they're really trying hard to tie everything together, man. But, but is the the question is is in the background blurry behind those bars? Is that one of those creatures that makes you go crazy? Puts its suckers on you. <laughs> poor Colis. Poor Colis. <laughs> poor Colis will know. <laughs> know the thing. <laughs> I kind of like how the wires sticking out of three PO look like he's like Mister Furley standing in the wind. <laughs> he's got like a nef- neck neckerchief flapping next to him nice an what is that a, is that a like one of the crazy astromex behind him the blue headed thing oh you mean the uh evil the the empire Im- oh. imperial mech uh astromech bt1 it all makes sense now it's yeah bt1 one. there you go Ooh. if that's bt1 yeah. ooh. Okay, I don't think that. No, <laughs> no, no I totally do. It's happening. I mean, it looks like it looks like like a generic pass off droid from the seventies that would have been like at best in the background and barely seen. And for some, like with that like nasty blue color, I I I don't know why, but I love it. I love it. Also, if you like the light fixture behind the battle droid, you can get them for eleven dollars at Monopoly. Hey, all right. Well, good FYI. to know. Eleven. Mm-hmm. Ten ninety nine, I think. Always here to serve. What comes after three PO? Well, we the get, best scene we finally, ever. We finally get R two on screen. Hello. <laughs> Yay. R two. The best. Finally. He's finally. Gonna be in it. At least for this much, we don't know how much more. <laughs> Until they kill him. Oh, hey. You hey. don't need him anymore. He's a legacy character. Who needs him? <laughs> I know. I'm still trying to figure out how they're going to knock off Lando. <laughs> no, don't you do that to me. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Blow up the Falcon that's what I'm saying. He better not be a cursory oh, character. Oh. Howie. Two legacy characters in one. <laughs> that no. was wow. too far. <laughs> Too you know far. That's what he's gonna do? <laughs> that's fine with Luke. That's Bo Stein. <laughs> fine with him. Yeah, Han. Blowing up. Kill the Falcon. And Chewie's gonna be in it too. It'll be Chewie and Lando oh, getting blown up man. in the Falcon. Put them all on there. Just blow them up together. And they don't have to draw this out anymore. Okay, this I really is... like. I really like the following shot though. 
This Christmas, Christmas. a dude gets smoked. (laughs) (laughs) Watch this guy totally die on the birth of Jesus. (laughs) On the birth of Jesus. (laughs) This Christmas, this bro eats it. (laughs) That is the best. (laughs) It is. It's really good. Any presents this year? Because he's dead. Dad, are we gonna go see Christmas lights? Uh, kinda. Here you go, kid. <laughs> okay, so where are they, man? On Such at, a at this point, shot to put this Christmas over. Um. Well, I mean, the ship looks imperial esque, given the it's got the red and white lights on it. And shiny floors. It's got an angle in the hallway, and I don't know anything, but so they could trip be over a, it all the time. Could be a station somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, that does jut. That does jut out quite a bit, dangerously. So, it doesn't look like it's a blast door either. Terrible design. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> terrible. It's just terrible. You can tell it's terrible. Look at all them sparks shooting out everywhere. Guys are dying and stuff <laughs> on Christmas too. Oh. It's a shame. It really is. So there's we've got Poe, Finn, and Chewie. Chewie taking them all on. Yeah, that's just the three of them in that. Creating a distraction for one Ray. They're creating a distraction so that uh, Leia can hug Ray. Yeah. In the next scene. Aww. Oh man, check out this wicked like Olympic jumping Finn trying to get over that yeah, stormtrooper right. corpse. Look at that! Yeah, back to the face by wow, Sparks. Damn. I mean, not for nothing. He looks like he's doing like getting ready to like go into like a dance break, like the Jackson Five, like where they'd all just like kick up their arms and knees like really hard. And- expected yeah yeah sure oh man that guy totally got burned on christmas <laughs> toast christmas toast. toast here we are with the uh totally not cg leia totally not cg <laughs> i know they're using Boy, extra uh, footage he's oh man wow he's straight up airborne in that one <laughs> yeah, that's this i is... know they're using extra footage but i still feel like some of it looks a little strange uh, then again, know. my YouTube window is kind of freaking out on me all of a sudden. It's, it's you're kind of strange. And we, we've seen almost none of Leia. I mean, the stuff we have seen is this, which is clearly footage from Force Awakens. So yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know how they're going to utilize her voice. Right. Some people well, say always. So BB-8 cracking open some uh, some like all or some Aldi brand fireworks. <laughs> Over here, with the uh, the is smoke. He gonna, uh, is he going to use his lighter? Well, it looks like he's using a hot poker. It looks yeah, like he just yeah. Middle finger in there. Oh yeah, no, yeah. He's definitely sticking his middle finger up at the stormtroopers chasing him. I mean, come on. <laughs> in spirit, if nothing else. But yeah, he's get, he's got like a little poker, and it's like red hot, and that's what he's slamming into that thing. So I guess Good maybe the, the lighter attachment is a thumbs up. The shot like right poker is the middle his finger. Face is, thumbs up. He's got a red face, a red dot on him. Oh, yeah, man. That guy's been reprogramming everybody. I think that red dot's been there. Has it? I think so. Yeah, yeah. it's been there. Okay, cool. Because I'm like, it looks somewhat familiar, but I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, the beginning of The Last Jedi, when he was inside the, the X-Wing, and he was using all his little arms to stop the sparks. You actually see it like okay. going crazy. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Middle finger. Ah man, I can't I can't get a better shot of the poker thing, which is so important. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna get this video done. Because like you can very clearly see it glowing orange, but I can't uh, I got it. Hold on. Can't get a good stop on it. Copy. I keep getting the same frame that I already grabbed. Wind shift S that stuff. Yeah, how we got the same frame I already grabbed too. Oh, maybe that's the only frame. Okay, so we're it's back. We're back it's on frame. It's, it's like anime. We're back on desert planet here. Did they go back to Jakku or did they go back to Tatooine or both or neither, <laughs> dude. This is the uh, that. Mm. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know. Guys. For I real, think that's the, I think that this out. is the new I, desert planet. I got it, guys. Hold on. 
<laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> I'm not convinced that either of you got it yet. Zoom in I got it. And you'll see it. Guys, I got it. I got it. Ready? Right. Do it. There it is. Ah! <laughs> oh, wait, it's better. Get the red on it. Yeah. Red hot cocoa. See? So that's the same one. Yeah. I ruined it. Get good. Get good. I, I can't diss you. There you go. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's, that's it. it. Yeah, that's found it. Ticket. Nailed it. First try. Solved it. It only took like five years, four years. But yeah, we're. Uh, I think we're on all new desert planet. Actually, people don't. Uh, people don't realize. Uh, ninety nine percent of the habitable planets in Star Wars are desert planets. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah it really does. <laughs> and the, what their only weapons is the the paint that they use, like in the India paint fair thing or whatever they do. That Diwali? henna, the, the coloring, <laughs> the coloring or whatever. What is it? Oh, called? Diwali. Yeah, Diwali. That's that's the lights. That's Diwali's holy. Yeah, okay. What whichever one they paint. Holy. There it is. Okay. That's the only weapons they have on this planet. Yeah. Colors well, shot. so what are we we're running from speeder bikes in this one, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And uh jet troopers. And oh, Fendi. that's no really yeah. Jet. About ah, it. yeah, I see them now. Yep. See? And, and Where else? No, they don't. They don't have. Uh, they don't have speeder bikes. They have those, those uh, bikes with the treads on the front, kind of like a tank, but there's just one tread. Oh wow! Yeah, pretty cool, huh? I suppose. <laughs> I sounds, suppose it that is. That sounds pretty dumb, actually. <laughs> you're you're dumb. Hey, you guys, check out all this gear next to Lando on the wall. I bet all of it's important. <laughs> <laughs> None of it's glowing blue, granted. But I'm sure all of it is vital to the story. Now, why does he have a headset? Because no one can understand him either. No, you can understand Lando's just fine. He's smooth as butter. <laughs> no, well, never mind. Uh, I don't know. There's definitely like moisture evaporators or whatever <laughs> in the background on the desert shot. But I'm assuming we're on whatever that new planet is where those uh the the the, the celebrating people are yeah. the race of folks who celebrate with like colored happiness. I don't remember what they're called. I've not committed any of the new species. Yeah. Wait, is that yeah. the desert planet that was at the end of Solo, a Star Wars story? No. No, I don't no it's a dude. I can't it's not follow. there's 99% of them, bro. It's 99%. Okay. This is just Desert Planet number 13. It's okay. to the Aki Aki. Bill. Aki Aki. Come on. No, that's yeah. the people who live there. Yeah, I know. I couldn't remember what they were called. The planet, I, I knew I didn't know that. <laughs> All right, Lando. Chewie Lando. in the cockpit once again. <laughs> He's got his shit back. Finally, it's in the right hands. Yep. All he had to do was... <laughs> All he had to do was execute his flawless 40-year plan to kill Han Solo. He's got a shit back. He had, he had a good reason to kill Han Solo. I'm going to make his kid hate him. Oh, you know, Lando be, Snoke. Be kinda, it'd be kind of <laughs> be kind of a snub to Chewie, though, if uh, he took back the Falcon, don't you think? Yeah, yeah seriously. <laughs> Chewie don't want it. <laughs> it's not Chewie's ship. I think he would just kind of inherit it personally but maybe i'm wrong heck maybe what it's, this movie needs maybe it's raised now i don't know what this movie desperately needs and i know we already made a joke about it but a moment just a fleeting moment where lando is communicating with the falcon that would be kind of cool like this is movie to movie there's no excuse not to not to to not pay any homage to the fact that lando's robot girlfriend is in the ship there's a lot of a lot of negatives in that sentence <laughs> not to not to not that's right to not. but count them out it all it all evens out. it evens out it's the right mm -hmm. it's what you intended i okay. mean even if he walks into the cockpit looks over to the to the right where that red glowing thing where l3 is supposed to be and just yeah. goes hey, hey hey girl and and that's it yeah, just a little, a little not. Yeah, or maybe that he could walk in. Good. I would be he cool. Could walk that. in and say, "Chewy, we're home." 
No, I'm not okay with that, though. <laughs> yeah. And Chewie's been like, I've been home. What You just hang out here sometimes. So, okay, this is probably the most meaningful shot, or at least the biggest plot giveaway in the uh, in the trailer that we hadn't seen previously, which is basically confirming the Star Destroyer, Star Destroyer super laser things. Oh, yeah, it's huge. Which in the teaser, we see a laser strike, but we don't see what it comes from. And now we can very, very clearly see that the Star Destroyer, Star Destroyers now have a big old wiener hanging off the bottom. That's for sure. It's called a hammer. It's got a big old wiener hammer. Yeah, it does. And by that, I mean gun. And then Zori Bliss in her, supposedly this is Zori Bliss, souped up Y-Wing. Has to be super. That's uh, I was gonna way too way fast. <laughs> I was gonna say yeah. that's not a Y wing. This is a actually kind to. of looks like a. Where's my snippet tool? There it is. Looks like a uh, um. A fish. We got another fish. <laughs> another fish. More, More fishes. Oh, maybe a lamprey or something. <laughs> <laughs> just like latched onto the bottom. <laughs> Well, so it looks like that Zori's just shooting up uh, one of the new... I don't remember what the tie interceptor Maybe looking dudes are called. There's two eyes right there. Oh. I don't... I don't not take... Oh, wow. Okay, I was going to say, I'm not taking the drugs how he's taking, but now I apparently <laughs> am. <laughs> I'm a little disturbed about it. It's like one of those little dancing spiders. So the saga then ends with space horses. <laughs> Uh, I love how these are clearly just horses with furry nylons and a mask. That's that's, that's my favorite. favorite. That's better than what we had for whatever yeah. the heck those things were. Last Jedi, Last Jedi, the yeah. horse bunnies. Yeah, whatever they were. The, yeah. By the way, BB-8 is not dicking around. That dude can roll. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. How he rolls. Hey, is the, the is is that Snap Wexley on the white horse? I hope so. Always on the white horse. I mean, the That's whoever that is, like, yeah, a little Snappy rotund, wax. and there's only one fat person in Star Wars. So, oh, that time. poor or one fat horse. good guy. There's lots of fat bad guys. Oh uh, no, the white horse looks like Finn. When that you, looks like Finn. When you uh, when you zoom in, I'll it's show like you the zoom in. I got here. a screen on there. It's Finn, buddy. You you know that Finn has darker complexion, right? Yes, I do, and the white horse would be. Is it drown him out or something? Is that what you're saying? I mean, I think you're basing that on the fact that we've seen Fig Finn hanging out with Jana or Jara or whatever her name is. What is her name? Uh, you tell me. I don't know. It, I know. it it might it might be like a flash in front of in front of like the horses, and that's why his face is all lit up. That looks like Finn but to me, buddy. It, it does not look like Finn. Yes, I oh, think that looks to me like you cop. That looks like you copy pasted. <laughs> right. It's the only sharpened thing within like ten feet. Everything is blurry except for his face. That's like some Garrick MS who's, stuff. Who's to the right? I this? wish. Let's just put it this way. I wish it was sexy Wexley. Yeah, I wish. So on the right is the what? That's what, Lando's yep. daughter, maybe. The one that's rumored to be Lando's rumored daughter. Rumored to based, be Lando's daughter. Yeah. Based on the process of elimination. Like, wait a minute. There's this character. Who's their parents? Yeah, we got to know everybody's parents. Yeah. Uh, I think like, he's... Hold on, hold I on, think... hold on. Before you go resisting, can I see some, you know, what was your parents' place of birth and your favorite song? You need to bring us your tapestry. <laughs> You have very lovely tapestries. This is a castle, and it has tapestries. So, yes, the weirdness of space horses on the outside of the Star Destroyer that is rising from the ice. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Cray-cray. At the same time. A little bit of cray-cray going on. Yeah. The story lives forever. So, then we have the rusty inside. I guess it is more rusty than I thought before of the throne room. Yes. Now this uh, is yeah back to the crash to Death Star. This is the throne room from Return of the Jedi, right? Right. 
And uh, apparently when it crashed, a lot of the uh, the drainage management system was above the throne room, <laughs> which I feel like was bad municipal planning right out of the gate. And they have a, they but use it all a lot down of into this. You can see like the sump like, pump pipe is right there. They use a lot of cat six cable. Oh man. So much cat. <laughs> Dude, they, it wasn't cat six back then. It was still cat five. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. That's right. This is 30 <laughs> years ago, man. <laughs> Crying out loud. I, so I, if this, if this is on the forest moon of Endor and wouldn't that like contradict itself now? Cause it's not forest moon anymore. It's half ocean. Well, I, I've, a lot of people seem that's to be saying pond. that maybe it's another moon that's nearby or something it's like that. the wet that. moon of Endor. I mean, why? but why <laughs> couldn't the forest moon of Endor have the an ocean? moon of Endor. The, the wet moon. <laughs> all sorts of I mean, biomes. why couldn't the forest moon have everybody. an ocean? I mean, that's my question. Endor. The concrete moon of yeah. Endor. The cotton candy moon of Endor. Mm -hmm. yep. This is actually the underlayer of the forest moon of Endor. You have to go deeper within. Well, I mean, with most of Star Wars, I mean, like the planet, you got the, you know, Jakku's desert planet, you have Tatooine desert planet, you know? Uh, yeah. So they don't believe in that. You got to stick with that one biome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's there's so much hoses it's in this shot. All the way to Camino. Whatever it is, there's apparently not a bacter enough bacterial life to have like any moss or anything yeah. inside. Well, here. it's the Empire; they like to keep things clean. So I'm kind of wondering if they like if this was all submerged and now has been like pulled up out of like icy water or something. Well, you know, you know what the rumor is, don't you? <laughs> that, that Ray, that Ray, Star Killer shows up and pulls the Death Star out of the water. No, that Ray does exactly what you just said. Because why not? <laughs> and That's why the not? rumor. Judge me by my size, do you? Yeah. Mm. So yeah, maybe she pulled this out of the water before she. She hiccuped one day and it came out. Yeah, it came out. Yeah. Hiccup. Seriously though, like that it. is that is supposedly a rumor. That mm. uh, it's supposedly a rumor. Or it is a rumor. No, I'm not buying it. I'm not sure. I'm going to say it that it's probably a rumor. <laughs> yeah, because when they in the teaser trailer, when they all when the whole team shows up and you see the Death Star for the first time, and it's like half sticking out of the ocean, and it's like you get the impression that that you're seeing it for the first time. There's definitely yeah, and there's definitely some kind of motion going on with all the structure and everything, because it's so chaotic. And here we have Finn jumping again. Yeah. It's a recurring theme in the uh, in, in this trailer. <laughs> Fin leaps. <laughs> Finny jumps. But like, look at how all the stuff on the right, like, I don't, I can't tell. Are the waves just crashing against it all? Or is it actually moving in any way? Like it's not stable. I feel like there's a little bit of movement there, but it's not long enough for me to really get a good feel. I don't know. Also, is that really Finn or is it a white guy? <laughs> is that Wexley in disguise? That Wexley for sure. I'm pretty uh, sure that's. I've seen Greg g -g 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 jump, and I'm pretty sure that's what I'm looks seeing. Looks like him. Yeah, overweight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. So now you have smashy, smashy. Yeah, you have Kylo making Ray smash what looks like a, a black statue it's actually something. their wedding ceremony no i've i've yeah. actually heard that this is a stand that it was holding the helmet oh, yeah the vader, vader. Oh, the vader helmet yeah vader helmet. Right. yeah because you actually can see the you can actually see vader's helmet in the uh yeah at the end the of the shot yeah at the end of the shot that's clearly vader's helmet that drops oh yeah from the side yeah uh, yeah definitely so that's the and beginning here... of the shot and then we see that Ray is holding the time knife, the Sith knife, Sith dagger, yeah, whatever we're calling this thing. Yeah, that's strange. Um, there's the rumor has it that's the the dagger um, that was used in the Clone Wars episode, the Mortis episode. Oh, that, shut up! That was used to kill the uh, the son. Yes. Oh. Or no, no, oh. the, the the father kills himself. So that he, so that the the son can become mortal, and then Anakin kills the son, if you remember. 
on the Mortis episode, there's a dagger, and that's right. what the theory is, is that that's the dagger from Mortis. Wow, that would be crazy. If that's, I, crazy. If that's true, I... That's I've got to give him props because I've like, been saying that's for a long way time deeper than J- I ever thought they, Jake Jay could go. They have to acknowledge the Mortis gods. They have to because it's canon. And how do you balance the forest without acknowledging that? But I never believed that they would. And that sounds cray cray. I mean, it could be. It looks nothing like it, but, I mean, there's no reason why they would, couldn't change how it looks for the movie. But, yeah. But, yeah, wow. why Why would she be just holding this random dagger if it didn't have some kind of meaning? For stabs? She's got a lightsaber for stabs. That's true. Lightsabers that are pretty good for stabs. kind of looks stabbing. like it, man. Hmm. That is interesting. Wow. So they're obviously oh, in case you together. guys didn't see the dagger. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> you really taking the smallest screenshots ever. It's my thing now. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't look like it. Can I say that I like the design in the background, like all the clean whiteness and like the control panels, yeah. all look like really solid Star Wars design. Yeah, where are they? What is that? I don't know why is Vader. Why is this plinth with Vader's helmet on it in the middle of this pristine white thing? Contrast. Like, it wasn't there before. Like when when Kylo had it before, it was surrounded by gray. Whatever. Hmm. Yeah, I I don't know. The background almost reminded me of Cloud City at one at one. Yeah, the, yeah. On it, the it, white it, shot. I mean, that's the only place we've ever seen that's been this pretty and clean. Right other than in the prequel trilogies. Also, what's this thing over on the right? A pirate. I mean, if that's totally just, hey, this is just part of the set design, then somebody deserves, like, a kiss and a tap on the behind because that's that's pretty intricate for something that may not even be part of what's going on. That's a camera. Yeah. Security system. <laughs> now, one of the other that. things besides the, um, the dagger in this scene that people are pointing out, I think... Some people were saying that this is a team. This is a team up moment that the two appear to be teaming up together. Now, other other people are disputing that because if you look at how they're facing, they're actually facing each other. It looks like they were in combat with each other. And yeah, it this it is like it looks like Kylo deflected her saber, which into, goes through the plate. Yes, that's that. I that's my when I look at yeah. it, that's how I read it. That yeah. this isn't really I, a I team up right. moment. Yeah, I have a hard time like imagining him going like, "My lightsaber is not strong enough to cut through this. Will you help me?" Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> and she's well, like, I "Yeah, maybe you didn't use those broken ass crystals." I swear he has his mask back on too. Yep, with all the red masking tape. I think this is Kylo's like pad. His, his layer, pad. the Kylo layer. When did he switch to hanging out in a pretty white? place well he's a he's the supreme leader now yeah he's supreme the... leader kylo if i had to guess this is the beginning of the movie if i'm having to guess especially since he's got the helmet on and this is probably her or toward the beginning of the movie like first act you know her trying i'm guessing he has the dagger maybe and she's trying to get the dagger from him you know well, because maybe this is what they think will kill palpatine or she thinks that i don't know i just feel well, like it just i don't this I love the shot. It's just so refreshing to see Star Wars, but a different, you know, like a Star Wars aesthetic with a different thing other than the yes. same thing we've been seeing yep. over and over and over. Amen, brother. Not a desert planet? Nope. Oh, I see. Let's see. All right. Then we have a very quick shot of a, a very quick another Spielberg shot. Yes. Because this one even has the lens, lens flare, flare in it, <laughs> which makes it extra Spielberg. <laughs> JJ is so extra when it comes to Spielberg. Oh, you beat me to it. So they're clearly, in my opinion, looking at a hollow R2 of some D2. sort. Well, I think. That, why does it look? You know what? Somebody like Poe's holding a blaster. Like he's got his arm crossing his front of him like he's holding a blaster. Well, look in the eyes. Somebody tell me to look in the eyes. What do you see? Yeah. Lightsaber. Oh, a lightsaber. Zoom in. 
Oh, yeah. yeah in Finn's eyes. And, I and, see uh, Poe's contacts. Yeah, you really can. <laughs> yeah, in, in Poe's left eye, in both of Finn's eyes, I see lightsabers. Now, in 3PO's eyes, I see three lights, but... Or six lights, I guess. So it doesn't count, but... Yeah. So, yeah, it could be a mortal peril situation. I mean, if there's a... If there is a lightsaber that is ignited in front of them. Right on. Um, now we're back to space horses again. Horses. I imagine these space or imagine these space horses are in a lot of trouble because they're not they're high up. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like they are not on the ground. I can't quite tell if that's the case. The reason why is because the star destroyer on the right hand side is like where it cuts off. There's still more Star Destroyer below that. So that's what leads me to believe that they're actually up in the air at this point because we don't see any ground anywhere. Yeah, I would incur. They're like, man, we tried to get off this thing, but we are not doing it well. I mean, if anything, where that lightning strike is going, if you look at the bottom, that looks like like clouds. I See, I thought it looked like clouds. Yeah, I think it looks like clouds. It might be striking the ground, but that still looks lower because that looks like it's way off in the distance. But I don't know. All the starter shards are facing the same direction except this one. This one, if this is one, so perhaps it isn't. Maybe based on that alone. Well, Jeez, if, you look, up, if you look at the destroyer, they're really hot to ground to begin with. Now check out these ties that swoop by over top. They're triangular. So, well, somebody must feel better. There's a uh, triangular as fo- er, foils on these things. Yeah, I don't think we've seen Correct. these anywhere else, have we? You got a good shot of the gun underneath that one star destroyer. That's mm-hmm. true. Yeah, his uh, pistol, as opposed to stamen, because that would be a girl star destroyer. But yeah, there's a little shot of one of these Tie Fighters that are very, very triangular like i don't think i can twist my mind around making that look more interceptory in my mind i think those are very clearly a different design than we've seen so far so is the in your opinion is the is the resistance confiscating these star destroyers or are they infiltrating them uh i think they've judging from the fact that they were on horses when they came up out of the ice I think they're just like, whoops, Star Destroyers. You know, I think <laughs> I think now they're just, I think pr- goal number one is let's get off of one of these. Let's get off and not die. Mission mission critical. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they found out about them at the very last minute and they, you know, were getting there just as the, you know, order, execute order 67, you know, happened. <laughs> Which, of course, everybody knows is bring all the Star Destroyers up out of the ice. But, yeah. I mean, right to the right there is, like, the engine of a Star Destroyer. I mean, they're right up against it. Yeah. That doesn't seem like that's a good idea. No. No. Not so much. Well, they're big. It's, you know, objects and mirror farther away than this case. But I still have just a... I feel it feels really contrived to have this herd of things running along whatever it is. Now, wait a minute. And it in looks like the only reason it makes me think it's another starter story is because of all the turbo laser turrets that are just lined up. These TIE fighters are called TIE daggers. All right. So yeah, and there are, there's um, X Wings in the shot. Did you guys see this? No. Oh, wow. I missed that. Com- I, hadn't, I don't I think I've gotten that far yet. It's as it pans up. Yep, an X wing huh. comes and a B wing. Oh yeah, this is where the B wing shows. Up. Right on, and that B wing is hauling A. This is the first shot of the whole movie. I think, <laughs> I think every shot in this trailer this happens right. First. This is the first. Yeah, shot. it all happens at the beginning. We all actually this... haven't seen the last three quarters of the movie. Yeah, because <laughs> they had a well, movie. Is, the movie is two hours and what thirty five minutes long. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mike's favorite. I'm, yeah, I'm happy they were able to keep it that short. <laughs> There's actually there. Are... Mike, you better be careful because you're sitting by yourself in the second to back row. I so know. If you fall asleep, we're not going to be there to wake you up. <laughs> up 
until very recently, there were still rumors that they were going to break this up into two movies. This is how much Mike did not want to sit in the second <laughs> row with us. And it's a recliner theater, so the second row is the back of the front. And Mike, Mike's like, yeah, get me a ticket, but in the back. <laughs> so he's not, he's not even going to sit with us. Oh. Hell no. Oh, Garrett, front? Hell Garrett's no. A loser. This guy. Derek's a loser. Then we have so Kylo Mike. doing the, Sp the Spielberg shot. I'm such a loser. I'm sitting back yeah. in the theater. Lots of flashing, which yeah, I'm not sure sitting, is lightning. We're sitting in the middle front. Middle front. Lots, yeah, lots of flashing and what the shape of what a probe. There's not really about. any any hints or clues really about. No, Kylo. that's the whole thing. It's like we're dissecting the heck out of this trailer because there's not a lot to grab onto until you get not past. Even this, yeah, not even this final shot of the floaty, palpy or whatever. Floaty palps. Pouty, there he floats. is. You would think JJ would put Carlos' car back where it was supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> That's He's like, oh, it's beneath me. Yeah, I'm not that petty. God, I, I don't even want to talk about that. Because <laughs> <laughs> my mind just reels every time and goes, what was the point of that? But okay, I digress. All right, so, so is this is this is this Shivy Palps in the flesh? Absolutely. No, yeah, no doubts. Yeah, yeah. Okay, is it the same Shivu Palps from Return of the Jedi? No. Or is it a different body? It is a resurrected emperor. Maybe. In a new I body. I think. Dark Empire. I, I think we are. De I think we're going to see Ian McDermott. Yeah. In the mech. So. Well, well well, of course, because after Fader threw him down the shaft, you know, all that explosion sucked his skin back together. So yeah. So there you go. Look. Yeah. Look, here's the thing, man. You now he's normal again. At the, at the end of Jedi, it, it can't be this. It can't be that he survived that because then that, that completely up upends everything that happened to Return of the Jedi. So you can't Well, look at it that. this way. Okay. There was a giant flash of light that swirled up the tube when he fell down, right? Right. That's literally the only difference between him and Luke. Luke in Cloud City fell down a giant tube, and for whatever reason, he just fell sideways, and everything was fine. Yeah. The so if that giant flash of light's the only difference, I say you, you could justify it, and I can't really complain. I, I can. Because, I again, can. it's not going to negate. To me, this has to be... I, I, I'll I'll swallow it if like he was able to resurrect his spirit somehow, or if this is a clone, or if this is, you know, I, I, it just can't be the same. Shibi palps from Return of the Jedi it just can't. Well, Maul got chopped in half and went down yep. down the hole too. I know. Don't don't get me started. <laughs> it's just I'm not gonna swallow it if it's the same Shibi palps. If he survived that, then it's no good. Well, the good news is Han probably survived too. Then, <laughs> yeah, well, if he, he yeah, if he survived he that, through the belly first. Well, yeah, if he got thrown down a he shaft and down. survived the the thing being he blown up, up then yes, Han should have survived Starkiller Base. <laughs> well, at least we won't, we won't have Snoke going. <laughs> don't, I, the, don't, I don't want to get my hopes up. I'm prepared for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm prepared for it, no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> she helps played by Andy Circus plays all the horses. Did you know? Yeah, that? <laughs> they, they don't, and they don't neigh. They don't neigh. They just say <laughs> over and over. Nice. <laughs> That's the natural sound of space horses. Uh, all right, so God. Palps is talking. I, I here. say this is definitely Shivy Palps. And I'm going to bet that you are going to get some kind of mangled version of Return of the Jedi Shivy Palps who's getting ready to check out. Screw you. And then he goes, but don't worry. Skynet just showed up. <laughs> and I'm going to inhabit that body. And then he jumps into Matt Smith, who we still haven't seen in any. And then, then he flies away in the TARDIS. And yep. I said the same thing with Matt Smith going into Terminator Genesis. I said, why is Matt Smith just a background guy in this movie? Clearly, he's going to be the big reveal. And he was. Right? Why is Liam Neeson have a Ra's al Ghul beard, but he's not Ra's al Ghul? Clearly, he is. And he was. Mm -hmm. 
why is Matt Smith in this movie, but we don't see him anywhere. And they're trying to try They're doing everything they can to not have his name show anywhere. It's because he's going to be a young Sheevy Pops. We're Dark that's, Empire and bro. I know. Yeah. But that's why it's not going to be Ian McDermott. Just saying. You think from out of the gates, we're going to see Doctor Who as the Emperor. I'm thinking Once that there's, I think that there's going to be some kind <laughs> of like force shadow or ghost of some sort. Not the same thing as a Jedi. That is Palpatine. It's going to be that, purple and swirly. You know, that puts into motion him, you know, being resurrected into the Matt Smith or Matt, whatever his name is, body. And that he mm-hmm. will be, he will be Sheevy Palps. And my guess is that that's Matt Smith on screen there, not not Ian McDermott. But why That's is my he guess. see? Why is he on some kind of floating chair? I don't know, because he's 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 the big cheese. But he's why? The big is, dog. Why does he need a floating chair? Why is it like? like why uh, not? It's because it's mangled. It's mangled. <laughs> Sheevy Palps from Return of the Jedi. Nah, That's why, man. Nah, I don't That's buy it. Jetpack. I don't buy it. Jetpack. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> the Emperor. Was yeah, Boba Fett. If it's a younger Sheevy Palps, wouldn't he have like the different voice? A younger voice instead of the same. That's nope. what that's what I'm. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, that's ghosty palps. That's oh, ghosty palps. Ghost, ghosty, ghosty palps. He's on an ice planet. Caught something. No, dude, that's he salt. Pneumonia. Um, in the background, it <laughs> kind of pans salt. up that's a little. It looks salt. like they're outside somewhere. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Mm-hmm. I wasn't sure you know if it was inside salt, or outside. Red, so. No, the salt was white. The red was the dirt. Under the salt. salt. Oh, that's salt. right. Everything is salt. Yeah, they're on the wet moon of Endor. Yeah, because the there is uh, <laughs> clearly lightning happening there. There's, There's lightning, lightning happening every other I scene know. in this. <laughs> True. Then we have a long stretch of darkness. And then Ray. And then Ray with that the lightsaber eyeballs. Ray of sunshine. She got a little scar on her cheek. Never noticed that before. Hmm. Very small one. Oh, she must have inherited that from her dad. The beer swilling junk trader. That's right. Maybe she nicked her stuff when she opened up that double sided blade lightsaber. <laughs> Dag nabbit. I was way too overconfident. And uh, that's when you get Carrie Fisher's voice at the very end. The always, yeah. The force will be with you always. Good try. Dun dun dun. Good, good try. So, we tore through this trailer in you know record time. I'm sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> I didn't feel, and I'm. This is not a negative criticism. I did not feel that this trailer gave away too much, given what they already gave away in the teaser. Teaser. Yeah, it's pretty nondescript, which I'm happy about because. Mm-hmm. The last thing I wanted is for them to spoil everything. They literally just, for the most part, showed us more of what we've already seen. We've right. already seen the Falcon jump in with a bunch of ships. Now right. there's a bunch more ships because they had time to render them. Right. You know? It really feels we've like already... a second teaser to me. Yeah, we already heard the Emperor. Now we see potentially him. We knew 3PO was going to have a weird thing done to him, and now we see more of the weird thing. Yeah. <laughs> We knew that Jar Jar was going to be in it. <laughs> he was going to be the Sith master the behind thing. all of it. Yeah. No, no remember, he's a he's a clown now. He's a street clown, right? <laughs> it's going to be Jar Jar sitting on that throne. Yep. Oh, I knew this existed. All I had to do was Google it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I just Googled Jar Jar Clown, and that's what I got. You still want the cotton candy? Oh, (laughs) my gosh. Well, there's a lot here, man. A lot to digest. There's a lot. It's it's a lot there, there, but it's like it's the only stuff that you can really do is really dig through the details. But the big two things, the big two things that I'm taking away is I still don't see I still don't see Matt Smith. Yeah. Which is telling, and I still don't see Carrie Russell's face. Right. Which is telling. Those two things are important. A person as gorgeous as Carrie Russell doesn't get, and, you know, relatively, you know, 
storied actress does not get cast in a role where she wears a, wears a mask the whole time unless there's a big reveal. Mm-hmm. What would suck is if they actually didn't show her face and they did a voiceover. <laughs> <laughs> She's in the theater like David Prowse going, what? Come on. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> wait a minute. Am I, am I Ben from comms too? Aww. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, uh, have you guys seen on Netflix? It's on Netflix. It's a documentary about like extras in Star Wars. No, it does. Yeah, awesome. I just stumbled across it the other day, and uh, it had like people who were just like brought on set as extras, but it had other people like Biggs and Fixer and David Prowse, and this one guy who played a couple different parts in the first Star Wars who has some of the cringiest scenes in this movie I've ever seen, and it is great. <laughs> Elstree 1976 is the name of it. Uh-huh. I highly suggest watching this and get it. It gives you a little fresh perspective on these people who had like smaller parts or cut parts, or you know, the dude who was Greedo was in it. And, uh, and yeah, they, the dude, what was Greedo in the cantina? The funny thing is, he even explains when they when they shot him, they basically had him get out of the costume and they put it on a mannequin. They shot the mannequin and then quickly got him back into the costume while it was while it was still smoking. <laughs> like the, they they popped the back of it and it was smoking it on fire and they're putting it back on him so they could get him in it slouched over while the smoke was still coming off. Well, they, yeah, they had another an actress play Greedo as well. I think her parts got cut though. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So, yeah, I don't know. Eh, I mean, Mike, are you any more excited than you were before? Yeah, no, I am, man. This trailer, I, <laughs> let's put it this way. I didn't watch it last night when it came out because yeah. um, I'm, I'm, I've just been so apathetic, apathetic about everything. But today, you know, I, I watched it and then, you know, threw out the idea to you guys. And, you know, as we got closer to, to record time, you know, I, I watched it a few times and, it's pretty cool, man. I mean, it, but I, I'm tempering all this by saying I also felt the same way about Last Jedi's trailer. I mean, I was really excited after I saw that. So I don't know. We'll, we'll yeah. just have to yeah, let it all play like, out. I feel the last, this is way better than the Last Jedi trailer. No, I agree. I mean, it's it's all in there. I mean, we'll, we'll see if it's really going to live up to the hype and God, if it's going to answer all the Jedi questions. Trailer. And yeah, I don't even, I don't remember the Last Jedi trailer because the movie threw me for such a loop yeah, <laughs> that I kind of wiped everything out leading up to it. Yeah, I know. Well, I was at Celebration in Orlando when they dropped that, and we were, nobody had connection. Everybody was, like, on their phones or couldn't <laughs> yeah. see oh, anything. I remember that. Yep, me too. Oh, we were sitting God. in the eating area, and everybody's trying to stream it on their phone. Everybody's dropping off the Wi-Fi just trying to rely on the cell service. Yeah. It was terrible. It was. So because was all they had was that one, like, 10 foot screen in the middle of the vendor area. Yeah, that was nuts. Yeah, we were over at the the celebration store in line in that long ass line for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a line. Oh, that's terrible. But don't worry guys, they've gotten it right uh, ever since. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> no wait, the opposite of that. Yeah, well, I'll find out. I'm going to the next one. I hope to God, yeah, I hope to God they got it right. Me too. I won't be there, but I hope so too. I want to hear that they've learned some lessons because it feels like they just refuse to. But <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, I like the trailer because it didn't give too much away, but it gave just a few little nuggets like, yep. the, you know, the emperor's yep. cloak and profile. and Got some nice sweeping wide shots that are exciting the ships the, the yeah. star destroyers an actual um, shot of zori bliss rather than just like rando photos that get mm-hmm. released yep yeah that was nice but I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm also glad they didn't do another another shot of dark gray in there yeah dark yes. side gray i mean that would have been too much yep yeah it, i absolutely agree i hadn't really thought of that but especially I since it's going to end up being a nothing burger so Probably. right yeah, exactly. And people went nuts over it last time, and they they must have. There, I. It makes sense to me that they went. Oh yeah, okay. Everybody's everybody's kind of obsessed with this, and it's not 
a thing. So let's just go ahead and cut that out. But yeah, it, I, it, it, I still am like, eh, it's just going to be some vision, cave vision kind of thing. That's where I'm at on that. So, yeah, anywho, like, she, like she'd be going, this is what you could have been, you know, right. vision. Yeah, why not? Or maybe just when she gets in the throne room, it's like, you know, the residual dark energy just came and just hits her. Yeah. That could be. So, anyhow, it's late. Yeah. I know normally we record this garbage to like two in the morning because we're crazy. <laughs> this is weeknight, though. <laughs> but being that it is, it is still technically Tuesday, I got to get to sleep for work tomorrow yeah boys so freddy jack well, thank you for joining us yeah thanks guys yeah thank you for having me. now it's time to hear from you what do you think of the trailer was it what you expected was it better or worse than you expected is ep9 going to live up to the hype what are your thoughts and critiques we'd love to hear from you please share in the comments below and if you like what you hear and the content we provide please give us a thumbs up and share this video and if you haven't already, please, please, please subscribe to our channel and share with your friends. We hope you enjoyed this special edition of Fly Casual. If you haven't already, please subscribe and rate us at iTunes, Stitcher, and all your favorite podcast locations. It is important that you rate us so that we can reach more and more people. As always, be sure to check out the show notes at betterkind.com. There are always many, many ways to join the conversation. Follow us at Twitter at flycasual1138. Like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash flycasualpodcast. We are now on YouTube, so please take a moment to subscribe and ding the bell for updates. We are also now on Discord. Lots of opportunities to chime in. Reach out and say hi. Talk to you soon. Bye.